Hey, hey, what's up? <clears throat> so, why is this up? <laughs> what the hell? So, today we're gonna watch a video from Patrick CC. Shout out to Patrick CC. We love Patrick CC over here. W man, I love that guy. Uh, the video is why everyone hates JoJo CY. You know, me personally, she's annoying. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry to say this, say JoJo CY fans out there. Um, she's, she's low key aggravating. Meh. But then again, it's, just, you know, I just, uh, do, do your own, bro. <laughs> Do do you you know do you that's exactly what they say so uh without further ado pause this and get right into it and see what Patrick's CC has to say about it um hopefully it's good one of the biggest challenges of the child star curse is transitioning from their youthful identity to adulthood while still appealing to and respecting their young fan base no jojo siwa has recently faced major backlash for her attempted switch from a bright-eyed smiley and colorful tween role model to a rebellious edgy and provocative pop star no, but the animosity that. towards jojo is understandable because this transition is obviously disingenuous today Today I am going Hi. to break down exactly why Jojo Siwa's transition is failing miserably and prove that even she doesn't believe in her new bad girl persona. For Siwa's entire well, life, she was known it, as a positive, you know, hardworking, and charismatic no. dancer who rose to fame through the hit Lifetime reality TV show, Dance Moms. Dance Jojo Moms. used her youth fame to grow yeah. her YouTube channel and social media presence. At nearly 13 years old, Siwa released her hit single, Boomerang, an upbeat song that addresses Boomerang. childhood bullying. The song would go on to earn a two times platinum certification, Damn. and the music video has accumulated over one billion views. Shit, man, you see, bro. You got eyes, I got eyes. We're both seeing the same thing. That shit says one billion, my nigga. One billion. Both got eyes. One billion is crazy. Billion views. From there, the 14-year-old signed to Nickelodeon, appearing in children's television shows like Bizarre Vark and The Thundermans, as well as various Wait, television no specials and award shows. She became a modern Nickelodeon like superstar, her, huh? releasing various fuck. songs, TV shows, TV movies, and performing sold-out concert tours in stadiums around the world. She even launched her own merchandise line of JoJo's bows. The lucrative business yeah, venture see. reportedly sold more than 80 million bows Jesus from 2016 Christ. to 2020, equating to well over so $400 million, bows. according to Forbes. So By the time she was 17, she was filthy rich. 80 million bows is insane. That is a lot and was a positive influence on her millions of young girl fans all around the world. Naturally, while entering adulthood, child stars start to think about how long they can or want to appeal to children. Yes, JoJo's me, more mature gigs were competing on Dancing with the Stars and becoming a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. But those mature audiences struggled to take her seriously as a judge. Even though she had over yeah. a decade of dance experience and was sporting a new adult-like pixie cut. Plus, being a judge on these dance shows is typically a job someone takes when they are past their prime. Jojo is just 20 years old and believes she has much more to offer to the world. So it was time to make a drastic change to let the world know she is not a bright colored child star bro, anymore. Bro. See was fans were suspicious of her transition while she- That's crazy though, because you can't like, imagine trying to like appeal to children, then boom, you, you just change and now you gotta change your whole flow and everything. I ain't gonna lie. That's not the move, because I don't think anybody's going to like that. But at the same time, it's like, you shouldn't stay, stay, you shouldn't stay as kids. You should just, you know, no. Am I even talking English, bro? No. She began rolling no. out her newest single, no. Karma. In February of 2024, Jojo posted a photo of her wearing all black and seemingly tattooing her entire left arm. That's right. She also posted a video on TikTok showing those tattoos, which were fake, by the way. Shortly after, she posted a series of nine photos on Instagram, Whoa. each with one word captions that, in order, read, okay. See you in one month. Remember, Karma's a bit. Considering that yeah. everything she had ever posted on Look. Instagram was a 4K quality photo of her smiling and wearing bright colors, the grainy, dim-lit photos with one curse word in the caption was actually a drastic change. I think JoJo is in her 
get era. It looks so illegal to see Jojo putting a curse word on her captions. She's in her Miley Cyrus era. I'm torn. My daughter likes rainbows and bows Jojo, but I'm invested in this fk it Jojo. I want to know what's happening. The following week, she posted this celebratory video with the caption, my last week being a child star. But the official transition last marks week. when she posted this warning video to TikTok. Warning. The following content is not made for children. No. may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers, may contain sexual themes, violence, strong language, dramatic scenarios, and flashing lights. Viewer discretion is advised. She would later explain the warning yeah. in a video that it was important to me to give that heads up and be like, look, if you follow along, that's all you. If you want to go, now's your time. This was JoJo's way of formally letting the Hi. parents of her young fans know that she is not the kid-friendly star anymore. A new era of life Here is becoming an adult. Nobody knew yet what was coming, but JoJo claims her oh transition my. would be shocking. That's been my massive, my most massive inspiration is no one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No Man, one has made in my generation this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. Now, I'm not really sure what counts oh, as JoJo's generation, okay. but she was making some huge claims here. What could this extreme switch be? When she finally teased the intro of her song, the comments absolutely eviscerated her. But before we I dive bet. deeper, have you ever Googled Ooh. your name and no. seen yourself on one of those strange sites that has too much information add. about you? It feels pretty add. weird. I'd really rather that kind Can of I stuff wasn't available to Please. anyone who's looking Someone for it. Me. Data brokers are making tons yeah, of money uh, selling email. our information to robots. Uh, and spammers. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can find Noir. the data brokers no, that are sharing your information. I won't These give brokers you, are you legally know. required to remove your info if you ask them to. However, they make it very yeah. difficult to do so. That's where Aura comes in and submits opt-out requests for you. You can see how oh. many data brokers are selling your information. Sorry. I was a bad girl. I did some bad Sorry, like anthem. The beginning of her song starts out with the lyrics, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. And she also says that she was a wild child, which just led oh, to more and man. more negative reactions in the comment sections. <laughs> the song was most definitely viral before it even got released, but not because people were dying to hear it. It's because people were making fun of it. Yet okay. Jojo claimed that something crazier was still going to happen. Everyone's been talking about the song, talking about the song, oh, this about the song, that about the song. No one's even questioned the music video yet. I'm about to start sharing some things from the music, music video. video. And Shouldn't the song be good where first? It gets real crazy. But then when she started sharing the music video snippets, I guess the craziness was supposed to be the sensual dancing, or maybe this Blades of Glory inspired outfit, or maybe the Kiss inspired makeup, or maybe that the setting is on the island above Bikini Bottom. Man. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Adults looking at JoJo's imagery ironically look at this like a kid who's trying so hard to be an adult I'm that it though. just makes her look even more like an uncomfortable kid. Some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been like, what you're doing right now is so right. It is no. so right. It is what the world no. needs. Like, no. I'm, li I'm, I'm learning no. from what you're doing right now. And that's crazy to me. I mean, I heard that from Lil Nas X yesterday. Heard it from Megan Trainor a few days ago. It, it blows she, my she mind. name it blows dropping my too, which is crazy. Like but again, no matter how much she tried to build up hype, people couldn't be less enthusiastic about this release. And JoJo's attempts at being a badass just gave the internet more fuel to make fun of her. Dream guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, a dream. honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? Finally, the song dropped on April 5th, which accompanied an interview where Jojo claims that she was doing something groundbreaking. There's never really been an influencer child star turned into musician adult star. She then went on to say that she believes this Hello? song is the first step in inventing Hello? a new genre. What would you call the genre? The genre is, I said it back in the day when I first signed with Columbia, I said I wanted to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, 
called gay pop <laughs> and they were like not only is the child what? star turned pop star extremely common I'm but saying. the song she released is structured exactly like any other dancey chanty power chord driven pop song reminiscent of the likes of lady gaga kesha carly ray jepsen etc less than a week oh, later she corrected her statement telling tmz guy. that she definitely Dinks. was not the inventor of the style but rather wanted to be a piece in making it bigger than it already is walking back her comments was her her first misstep. Oh, really? She hyped up this era like she was doing something generational. She should have just doubled down on her statements and been like, yeah, I invented gay pop. What are y'all going to do about it? We all agree it's a ludicrous statement, but she already said it. So now you got to stand on it. Don't be all like, oh, no, this is what I actually meant. Badasses don't explain themselves. However, things got even worse for JoJo when TikTokers realized she didn't write the song. Oh. When analyzing the credits on Spotify, you will notice that Desmond Child, Timbaland, Antonina Armato, and Tim James are credited as the writers, and Rock Mafia as the producers. Antonina Armato is a well-respected songwriter who wrote hits like This Love by Maroon 5 and The Heart Wants What It Wants by Selena Gomez. Armato also wrote for Miley Cyrus well. during her Disney Channel era. Because of this, people suspected that the song was originally written for Miley's breakout moment into adulthood, and they also found this 2012 tweet that may have supported that theory. Big thanks to Timbaland and Rock Mafia for a great collaboration on Ooh, hashtag right karma's a bit. And then Bro, Miley responded and said, You stink. You smelly. Don't forget no. me, bitch. But Miley never released Come a song called Karma, and we don't even know if she ever recorded a demo for this song. Oh, we would nah, later bro. find out that Why Britt Smith, an now. artist basically nobody has ever heard of, was actually meant to release Karma back in 2012. Rock Mafia really? back in the day. It was supposed to be my first single. Things changed, and I went with Provocative um, instead, and shouldn't have done that, really. We should have gone with Karma. That was my first choice, but label things got in the way and I kind of was led um, in that Jesus, direction bro. and we went with provocative and then I left the industry after that. Brit and yeah, JoJo's versions too. are almost exactly the same. The lyrics are word for word the same and the structure of the song is nearly one to one. But Brit's version is so much more dynamic. It is less power pop driven and feels more like a classic 90s slash early 2000s dance banger. Mm. Plus Brit is a better vocal performer. But once this information Damn. came to light, Crazy. TikTok exploded with viral videos claiming Jojo stole this song. The narrative shifted from Jojo is cringe to Jojo is cringe and a thief. The craziest part of this Damn, whole situation is that Brit Smith got approval me, to release her version of the song just one week after Jojo released hers. Fans liked Brit's version so much it nearly outstreamed Jojo's, Ooh. securing 5 million Damn. streams and reaching number 6 on Spotify's viral 50 charts. Ooh, Brit Smith's version also peaked at number 8 on the US iTunes pop chart, surpassing Damn. Siwa's which peaked at 89 and Damn. failed to reach the Billboard Hot 100. Shit, bro. Brit Smith literally made a come up off people hating Jojo Siwa. Jojo previewed another unreleased That's song crazy. which was immediately labeled as stolen within hours of playing it for her fans. This next song is called Choose Your Fighter. <laughs> TikTok users immediately remembered oh, a man. different artist called Emmeline who no previewed way. the exact same song Filling in 2022. Hello, bro. Am I just... Oh, what the shit, bro. I like her, but I like the other girl version better, bro, Leap than, with than this JoJo's. Comment. Oh, I actually didn't oh, sign the off same on thing. it coming oh, my out God, with JoJo. Too, not her fault. If my version gets love, I can still put it out after hers. It's unclear what Emmeline meant by this, and she didn't end up explaining it further. But then Siwa finally responded to the comments of her allegedly stealing her songs. The background on Karma, honestly, it's an old song. I was pitched it. I loved it, was obsessed with it, so I, I grasped onto it. Why not that instead of a new song? No, there's that's a very normal thing. A lot of songs are, are, are okay. what happens is people write songs and then they just don't do anything with them. And then a few years later, it makes more sense for another artist. No. Did you steal it from Brit Smith? Man, it's enough to steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing as stealing. Boy, no, I've seen the thing about um, uh, the one, uh, Choose Your Fighter, one of my other songs. But no, that's the same situation. Somebody else did write it. I did not write the song. 
And you got the rights to it. But I have the rights to it. Jojo did not steal these songs. It is common for artists to not write their own music and have music that other people wrote pitched to them. Most of the time, songwriters make a batch of songs and send them out to multiple artists. And whoever is the first to buy the rights and release the song publicly is the legal owner of that song. 99% oh, of your favorite artists have worked with songwriters. The one caveat to this is that Jojo's preview of her Choose Your Fighter song was not even her voice. So she didn't record her version of it yet and previewed it thinking nobody would realize it isn't her singing. But Jojo is being way too open about her lack of songwriting. Yeah. She is cosplaying the bad girl while trying to explain, no, 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 you guys don't understand how the industry works. I'm not a songwriter. I'm just a performer. When has any major pop artist ever explained exactly how they don't write their music? It yeah. ruins the aura, the mystique of being an artist. How is anyone so supposed to that connect writing. with your lyrics and you brand just... after you blatantly said you don't write your work? That's why she was like, just wait for the music video. Oh, I see. I see. Makes Birds. sense. Like, we know that you and every other pop star in history don't Let's write see. their own songs, but don't say it. And you can tell even she knows she shouldn't talk about it. Because listen to her stutter and hesitate to speak on her writers in this interview. Honestly, I, I, I wrote this rap song called mm. The Lies Sound Better. Sure. I told my, I told my uh, writer, I was like, look, faster than Busta Rhymes. I was like, I challenge me. But the main reason why nobody is taking her seriously is because she is trying to push this bad girl era, but everything she does just proves that this persona is not genuine. Exactly. Firstly, let's just get this out of the way. The Kiss-inspired makeup has to be the least authentic thing any rebellious person would ever do. Then again, it's perfectly fitting because Kiss was basically a glorified children's band. Their music was considered badass and rebellious if you were ages 8 to 13 in 1975, saying, which are well, likely the I'm ages of people that currently think Jojo Siwa is badass and serving rock star looks. Jojo expressed that her goal was for her bad girl moment to be reminiscent of Miley Cyrus's bangers moment. When mm -hmm. I was eight oh, is when Miley had her bangers moment okay. and I was like all I want is to have that one day. Like I want that. And honestly, since I was like 15, like my whole like inner circle has been like talking about it and like getting excited for it. Jojo that, even copies Miley's signature tongue out pose, which, if you can believe it, was controversial in 2013. And yeah, Miley is definitely a no legend. Way I was. But it's okay. important for Jojo to recognize that Miley was actually bad. Like Miley was smoking salvia out of bongs, twerking on Robin Thicke at the MTV VMAs, wearing basically no clothing for all her public appearances in 2013. She was taking extreme risks and got so much backlash for it. The fans, the media, and other celebrities called her trashy, a stripper, pathetic, every horrible name to rebuke her antics. And Miley did not care to explain herself nor satisfy anyone. She just kept doing her thing because she felt so trapped behind the child star brand for years. Miley constantly detailed in interviews how she resented the Hannah Montana character. She hated wearing the wig. She hated doing the press. She felt like a fraud to her young fan base. Miley was trying to do whatever she could to escape the Disney image even if it meant losing right. her young fans and the financial benefits that yeah. came with it. She even had a multi-million yeah. dollar merchandising deal with Walmart in the works that she lost due to her antics, and she did not care. You yeah, could say in good. hindsight that what she was doing was trashy, but it was at least was authentic. Smart. It seems like Jojo is talking up this transition more than fully diving in. Yeah. Even the tattoos on her arm were fake. Well, most of them were, just furthering the idea that she is half committed. She seems half committed because because maybe she doesn't want to lose all her previous fans that made her a multi-millionaire. Yeah. Remember, she sold $400 million in bows. Maybe she thinks she will be able to draw on her face, do a promiscuous dance, and sell $400 million in records. But music is way different than TV or even dance. It's not even about talent. It's about depth lifestyle, attitude, oh, yeah, parasocial man. connections through lyrics and mystique, all of which are extremely difficult to fake and people know Jojo is not bro, actually she's a smelly, bro. Like, look at this tell video him. of what she claims tell is him, a Patrick, reckless tell or him. unhinged statement. The last few weeks, the internet has definitely made me feel like a f***ing psychopath. I realize Hey, because you fucking are. What the fuck is she doing, bro? You suck. You're not Molly Cyrus. You're not Molly Cyrus, man. You're not. You're not. I am, I am a f***ing psychopath. And this is some shit that only I 
Stop making your voice sound like that. <laughs> she really thinks calling herself oh, a psychopath no. is some rock star. She already refers to her music video as iconic. Jojo seems to lack the understanding that she doesn't get to declare herself as badass and iconic. Other people have to do that for her. It's like declaring yourself a legend or putting yourself in the Hall of Fame. You don't get to do that. Other no. people determine your public perception. It's like she wants the credit before ever putting in the work. Plus, she has the money, time, and resources to actually put in the work. Put in the 10,000 hours to grow and change into the artist that she claims she can be. Like I said, I will never, ever claim to be a singer. Yeah. But I will claim to be an artist. Okay. I no. am giving the world art. And they might not like oh, it. Oh, bro, you stinky, bro. Smell. They might hate it, but they're enjoying Boo, it. Boo, you stinky. And it's become a bit of a guilty pleasure for everyone. But she likely has agents, managers, and yes men saying, no, you can do this. You can be whatever you want. Yeah, wrap your Lamborghini Urus with PNG cutouts of your face. That's what all 20-year-olds wish they could do. But easily the one thing she did that diminished all her credibility during this transition is straight up admit that she was never bad. I got pitched What's this bruh? song, Karma. And it's the first word is, I was a bad girl. And I was like, oh, it's a good song. I was like, but I can't say that. I can't say I'm a bad girl. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I was 18, fresh off of my dream, the tour. Yeah. And I was like, I can't say. I, I, I sang every Ooh. girl's a super girl last week. Like, I can't <laughs> sing I was a bad girl this week. It doesn't work. How is anyone supposed to believe in your new image when you don't even believe in it yourself? I'm saying Patrick was spitting. Facts, man. It was a great video. Holy shit. What the hell? Thank you. I already liked it, too. Look at this, bro. Great video. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing video. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. I love Patrick, bro. Was great another amazing video great video by patrick cc and you know that's it for me for now i'm probably gonna upload again tonight so you better wait for that wait for it all right bye 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 see you